Hi Virgo, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm so happy to have you here. We're going to do just um, a, a reading for the energy going on right now. It's March 2nd, so it's the new moon. So I'm gonna use the Moonology deck. That was weak, let's try that again. There we go. All right, let's see. What does Virgo need to know? Be bold. Be bold and make the first move. Whoa. I just started hearing <laughs> um, Sexual Healing by Marvin Gaye. What do you need to release? Oh my goodness. What? <laughs> um, step out of your comfort zone is at the bottom of the deck. So that could be specific for somebody or there could be like maybe some of you need to get out and have a little fun. <laughs> maybe there's somebody that's caught your eye. Thank you. <laughs> it's time to release negativity <laughs> and your hard work is paying off. So some of you might be feeling a little bit of frustration. Maybe you're ready for some kind of, you know, action but there's some work you're doing inward first before you put yourself back out there. And it looks like your hard work is paying off, Virgo. This is what everyone has in common so far. Don't let your past hold you back. So let's get into the tarot and see what's going on. Cause I was like, uh, <laughs> release negativity. All right. So let's see what, does the tarot have for the Virgos today? Let me try that again. Whoa. Ten of Swords. Starting off not the best, but also good because Ten of Swords means the worst of something is over. I'm, gonna, I'm only going to take what flies out this time around. Speaking of which, we got the King of Pentacles. Hmm, okay. Then we have the Page of Pentacles. Queen of Cups came out over the Page of Pentacles. That's curious. We'll get into it though. We have the temperance. Okay. What's at the bottom of the deck? Five of Wands. And I just heard family situation. So some of you could be dealing with like a family dynamic or an actual family situation where you might have been betrayed in some way. You could have some kind of family business, some kind of family like holdings or something, holding company, something, um, a will, an estate. Uh, some kind of company that's caused some source of conflict. I'm feeling that's what it is with the pentacle energy and the ten of swords. What's crossing the ten of swords with the worst of the situation being over is the king of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. This could be your energy or it could be someone else's energy around you, masculine. Um, this could be a person or it could be just like the energy of wanting to hold on to some money or wanting to caring too much about the material aspect of something is blocking the completion of something is what it looks like starting out here. And then the focus, we have the page of pentacles. So this could be something new. This could be like the birth of a new business or company, or it could be something to do with a child. Also Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. And right between, there, it's sitting right between the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. So we have a feminine Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy here as well. Looking toward the temperance, which usually signifies balance um, in a situation, being able to keep an even perspective. Sometimes protection, sometimes, hmm, this card especially makes me 
focus on the fire here. Like maybe really struggling to keep the um, tension down in a situation. Like, like a really tense family dinner or something like that. So I feel like, yeah, the, the outcome is temperance. Like you're going to have to balance out your energy, Virgo, for whatever this is. And it has to do with conflict. And then there's, yep, Cap Capricorn energy, Cancer energy. It's kind of confirming what's already here. King of Pentacles, Queen of Cups. And the Five of Cups looks like there's some regret here involved, followed by the Ten of Cups. Some kind of situation to do with the family and the home. Yeah, heartbreak. Hmm. The Empress is there too, just after that. Three of Pentacles. Oh. And the strength. So there's something that these two individuals are holding back from you, Virgo, is what I feel like. There's another earth sign here. It feels like heavy Capricorn, and then there's a water sign heavy on the Cancer, and it seems as though there could be an external energy, maybe a Sagittarius with the temperance here, but it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be for any of these. These are just the signs that are most prevalent, but that's what I'm feeling. And then here we have Leo at the bottom of the deck. So this situation is gonna call for you to have to really embrace your strength. And being that the Page of Pentacles is at the center of the reading, I feel like you have been strong. Like what do we get in the oracles? Your hard work is paying off and it's time to release negativity. If you haven't found out about whatever this situation is, because I feel like this is a situation from your childhood um, or something that stemmed from your childhood that you're dealing with now. And you've done a good job of balancing out your emotions. Um, whoever wronged you in this situation, I feel like they're feeling it. They're feeling the, the weight of what they've done. Even if they don't own up to it. They're feeling the weight of what they've done. For some of you, it could have been your parents might have had. There's somebody who had an affair. And maybe you were never told about your true parentage. Like one of your parents is actually a step-parent. Um, you might have found out about that. For some of you, you might have been adopted and you weren't let know about that. And for some of you, it's like there's a secret. Um, some kind of betrayal. Maybe you still don't know. It's like you have a feeling something is off and maybe that's what you're having trouble letting go of but it's like an elephant in the room and you haven't been told and you're having to face the challenge of just trusting your intuition and healing despite not being told the truth in a situation. Whichever situation you're, you're in, if this applies to you, your hard work is paying off, Virgo. So that's a really tough situation. Let's see what other insights we can get. Yeah, Five of Swords. The lovers. Hmm. Yeah, there's some kind of secret about maybe a partnership, some kind of like divisive action. Yeah, the high priestess fell out on top of the five of wands. So that's water energy again. Nine of cups, wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck. Why is this Five of Swords here with the High Priestess? Ace of Pentacles. Four of Swords. So you've been healing from the situation. Maybe you found out about this a little while ago and it's been a process. But I feel like with this new moon, it's like you're, you're kind of ready to or at least your higher self is ready to release the pain in the situation and move forward and that's not easy you know we can say it but it takes a lot of patience and work and strength is 
there any additional or is there any advice for Virgo? Yeah, because the temperance came out as advice. So is there any other? Oh, no, as the outcome. As the outcome. Your advice is really the Queen of Cups here. Mm, the Two of Cups here we have. And when the Queen of Cups comes out as, as advice, I take that as it's time for you to embrace love and, and bring, you know, like the card from the Monology deck says, bring love into the situation. Um, remember your compassionate side and that goes right along with the outcome, temperance. Keep in control of your, your um, I'm hearing anger, control of your anger in the situation, Bird. If in case there's something that comes up, you may find out that you haven't already or in case this comes up in discussion, that there's a need for you to. It's like something about you keeping your wits about you is important and how this plays out. But we have as advice, the Two of Cups, the Knight of Wands, and for your own benefit as well. The King of Cups and the Star Healing. This could have something to do with a relationship for some of you, like keeping you from a relationship. And I just, I'm, I just got a hit of someone like you, if you do have a different parent, possibly a masculine water sign, they may have tried to reach out to you so that they could get to know you or, or be in your life or something like that. And that communication was blocked from you. It could be, that could be some, that could be for someone. And I'm sorry if that's true, um, but you may find out about that. And then we have the star here. It could involve an Aquarius as well. You may have that highly aspected in your chart, but there is a desire to heal the situation and you may find out that there's an opportunity for you to maybe travel to this person or meet this person. What's at the bottom of the deck? Strength, strength again. What is this King of Cups energy? King of Wands, Justice, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. Wow. Virgo. Whatever this was that was hidden from you, whether it's a partnership, um, like business-wise, some kind of business opportunity or family connection or both, it's something that's extremely fruitful. It's something that'll give you you know, more personal power is what I'm feeling like. It's gonna help you step into a King of Pentacles energy and that will be justice for you. You'll know how in your personal story, but the Ten of Pentacles is here. Whatever this is, is gonna give you options. Whatever this is, is going to open doors for you. Yeah, what I'm noticing on this Seven of Cups is that each of these cups are filled with something really beautiful. Like, look at that. Usually what you'll see on the Seven of Cups is like one is filled with something nice and then another one's filled with like a, a greasy looking snake and one has a sharp trap door. But this one, it's like the elements are here. And magic is there. Rainbows, fire, water, ancestry, birds, plants it's like beautiful things things that you can really grow it's like you'll be able to i'm hearing ascend but in the 3d this could be something that you've already intuitively felt and you're just kind of you've put it behind you but you've also wondered about like confirmation of, of what you already felt and it seems virgo that maybe that's on its way to you Five of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. And this was for clarifying the King of Cups. So you were left out of this or this King of Cups, if they tried to come towards you, they were shut out. 
It was intercepted. Whoever this person is, it could be a father figure for you, maybe a brother, somebody that's like long lost, long lost. Ten of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. Yeah, so these individuals that we got in that initial spread, this earth and water energy, the masculine earth sign and water sign feminine, they're feeling the weight of this deceit. They're trying to decide whether or not to, to tell you or to keep hiding this from you. If this is actual money or like business that they're hiding from you, it's like... What? Yeah, they're moving extremely slowly on coming forward on this. Maybe, why? Why are they holding this information back? Forward movement. Because you would go away? Because you would move forward? Can I get one more, please, on the Eight of Wands? And that would put them in a mental prison if they don't want to see that two of swords mm, these sound like very selfish people i feel like what they're feeling is guilt already and they're afraid to tell you because they don't they don't want to look bad is what i feel as well and they just don't want you to have it it's like somebody doesn't want you to have it it's a, a, like a shame thing shame for them Yeah, and they don't want to face what they've done, is what I'm feeling. Seven of Wands here, they don't want to face what they've done. They've been sitting on it for a long time, and they're kind of afraid. The judgment already showed itself, but they're, they don't want to face themselves with the hangman and really have to think about what they've done. And probably they don't want to face you, but if, for some reason I feel like it's inevitable. Yeah, the lovers came out again. This could also involve a Gemini. The lovers fell out over the Knight of Wands, but what that says to me is it's destined. Like your forward movement is destined, Virgo, and it cannot be stopped by these two individuals. Wish fulfillment at the bottom of the deck. Two or three individuals. We had a lot of court cards come out. Whatever this deceit is, whatever it is, they can't keep it up for much longer. Let's see what the Rebel deck has to say. Your job in this Virgo, because I can tell this is something that would upset anyone um, in this situation, that's why you need to temper yourself. Maybe it's time to get in a routine that helps you ground, even if you don't know what this is about or see it coming. With the Two of Swords having come out, it may be something that you really just don't see coming, but you're going to need to temper yourself. Especially because how have they been hiding it? You know, if they've been hiding this for so long, they may have been trying to use that five of sword could represent lies. They could have been lying about you for many years. I just heard dead. So some of them have even said that you, they were lying about your birth or lying about your birth or where you live or when you passed away or you're alive. So somebody, they lied in a big way is what I'm getting. Um, they lied in a big way. And if it wasn't about your actual existence, it was about your persona which is why whenever you find out this information, temper yourself. They may have tried to make it seem like you are some sort of villain or some sort of like irrational or crazy person. I don't know if that's true for you or not, but with the Five of Swords, it leads me to believe that's not at all true, Virgo. You're going through some tough shit. Everyone has their turn. Welcome to yours. Gather your Titus up and handle it. I feel like that's for these deceitful people because after so much time, especially if this has been happening since you were a child, um, it's it's hitting them now, like it's weighing on them, like age of Aquarius energy, darkness coming to light. Then we have here, don't believe every shitty thought you have. Thoughts can be sneaky, lying bastards. And for you, if you're jumping to like worst case scenarios, Stay away from that. Okay, so maybe that's an indication that this will turn out to be a little bit better than you thought. Then we have whatever you're thinking about, don't do it. 
now is not the fucking time. So I don't know what that's for exactly. It might be different for the various people watching or who end up watching this video. So is there anything else for the Virgos from the Rebel deck? Yeah, that's unfortunate that, that they thought they had to lie to you for this long. Stop obsessing. You are not the center of the fucking universe. What do you need to release? And here at the here at the top of the deck, we have your giving away your power. So if you have an inkling about this, but you haven't found out, like you really need to just keep living your life, Virgo. Keep living your life. When it's meant to come out, it will. But you have to go forward. Mm-hmm. And it's time to release negativity. Your hard work is paying off. And I feel like it's all tied together. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep grounding yourself. Keep working towards new, beautiful things. Minding your own business. Being an awesome Virgo. And whatever this sneaky situation is, don't focus on it. Don't focus on it. You might want to watch the Cancer reading as well, okay? Because it was like a similar energy for the Cancer game. All right, Virgo, that's what I have for you, and I'll see you back very soon. Bye.